the best anti-aging tool of all time? Sunscreen. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So in terms of anti-aging, there is one tool in your beauty toolbox that stands out way above the rest in terms of combating the signs of aging. That's fine lines, wrinkles, skin laxity issues, sagging skin, dimpling skin, and that is sunscreen. You might think, oh, Botox or creams, lotions, potions, laser treatments. Nope, the best best, best, best anti-aging tool is sunscreen. There are a zillion different types of sunscreen. So I've given myself an education on sunscreen so I can give you guys an education on sunscreen and we can talk about what's out there, what the different types of sunscreens are, and also the different categories of sunscreen because it's a little bit like bras. Bear with me for a minute here. <laughs> You're like, what? Is she really comparing sunscreen to bras? Yes, I am because you have your like everyday t-shirt bra, but you also need specialty bras like your strapless bra, like your wireless bra, like your deep plunge bra. Sunscreen's the same. Like you've got one for the everyday use that you need, but then you also need some specialty sunscreens. And I'm gonna talk about those specialty sunscreens as well. But first I just wanna break down some of the terminology that is associated with sunscreen and what it all means. Please don't glaze over. I'll try to get through this as quickly as possible. But I want you to understand because I wasn't fully aware of a lot of these things and I feel like it's really helpful information. Before I dive in to sort of the sunscreen glossary, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Ulta Beauty for sponsoring this video. Ulta Beauty has a huge focus this summer on sunscreen. They want you to be sun safe. They want you to have access to the products that you need in order to be sun safe. So they are hosting a summer splash event with a heavy focus for part of the summer on sunscreen. So again, huge thank you to Ulta Beauty for sponsoring this. And also thank you to the brand for bringing awareness to such an integral, important, essential beauty product that every woman needs to have, that every woman should be thinking about if they don't already employ the product and that's sunscreen. Now let's get into sort of some of the terminology associated with sunscreen because there's a lot of stuff flown around. First are UVA and UVB. What is that? There are different types of rays, ultraviolet A, UVA, and ultraviolet B. Both cause the symptoms associated with aging. So that's like hyperpigmentation, that's wrinkles, that's damage to your collagen. The ultraviolet A rays penetrate a bit deeper into the skin, whereas the ultraviolet B rays are a bit more superficial and the B rays are the ones that cause the sunburns, but both again are damaging. So we gotta protect from both types of rays. It's really important to understand that because not all sunscreens protect you from both UVA and UVB. The ones labeled broad spectrum are the ones that protect you from both UVA and UVB. So when you're looking at sunscreens, you wanna make sure that it says on the bottle or on the tube somewhere, broad spectrum, those two words. The next acronym I wanna talk about is SPF. So what's SPF? SPF means sun protection factor. Let me give you an example of what SPF really means. So if you typically burn after 10 minutes of sun exposure and you have sun protective factor SPF 15 on your body, you would multiply 10 by 15, which would be 150 minutes, pretty easy math, roughly two and a half hours. So you would have two and a half hours before you would start burning. That's what SPF is. Most dermatologists recommend a minimum of SPF 30. With SPF 15, that blocks 93% of UVB rays. SPF 30 blocks 97% of UVB. Remember UVB is the ones that cause sunburn. And SPF 50, and that's pretty much the max when it comes to sunscreen, blocks 98% of UVB rays. At the minimum, you wanna go for SPF 30, but that's sort of the breakdown. So it's 93%, 97%, 98%. So the 30 and the 50 are pretty similar. 
Okay, next I wanna talk about the types of sunscreen. So there are two main types. There's chemical sunscreen and there's physical or mineral sunscreen. And the difference is in how they work and also the ingredients. So you can find out pretty quickly by looking at a bottle of sunscreen, you'll read, either it'll say mineral sunscreen or you can just read the ingredients in the back and you'll know pretty quickly. Chemical sunscreen works through a chemical reaction. The skin absorbs the rays it turns those rays into heat and then pushes the heat back out. And that's how the chemical sunscreen works. The mineral or physical sunscreen is more of an immediate effect and it just basically blocks it out. It blocks out the rays altogether. A lot of everyday or under makeup or over makeup sunscreens are the chemical sunscreens because they're not as thick and heavy, whereas the mineral sunscreens are you know, the, the benefit of the mineral sunscreen is that um, the ingredients tend not to be as harsh and also there's an immediate effect. So if you're like going out on the beach and you didn't put that sunscreen on in advance, then you're definitely gonna wanna use the mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide, zinc oxide being sort of the gold standard for sunscreen, and it will immediately block out those UV, UVA and UVB rays. Those are the two types of sunscreen, and it, I think it's important to understand the distinction and how they work. Also, if you're on the like cleaner beauty train, like I am lately, you probably are gonna wanna go with the mineral sunscreen because there are chemicals in the chemical sunscreens that are potentially harmful so I don't want to dive into that but those are the basic two types of sunscreen and you can find out pretty quickly on the bottle or the tube of the sunscreen which one it is but just to remember that it's the mineral sunscreens that have that immediate effect the ones with the zinc oxide that immediately block out those rays that's really important to know so that you don't have that first 10 minutes of getting sunburned that's a pretty important thing to know when you're going out and you know there's going to be sun exposure to know whether you have that immediate result or not. A few other quick things I wanted to go over about sunscreen. Did I lose you? Are you guys still with me? Did you glaze over yet? Please <laughs> hang in there. You need to use enough of it. There is a member of my family who uses like a tiny drop of sunscreen for his whole face. And I'm always like, did you use enough of that? The reality is you need to use a half a teaspoon for your face and neck one half of a teaspoon. So if you're using like a pea-sized amount of sunscreen, that's not enough. You need to apply it generously. In tandem with sunscreen, you can always wear protective clothing. There are amazingly cute and stylish rash guards now that you can wear when you're out on the beach. You can wear hats. You can wear sunglasses with UV protection. You can keep yourself covered up, wear a long maxi dress. There are ways to prevent sun exposure out in the sun that are actually better than sunscreen and that is wearing protective clothing. And then I did wanna mention the blue light from your screens and computers. You're gonna to start to see sunscreens that have what they call blue light protection in the creams. And I was doing some digging on this and basically there needs to be more studies about the effects of the blue lights on our skin, but there are preliminary studies that show it is impactful in terms of aging and not in a favorable way. So a lot of these products are coming out with blue light protection because the blue light is impacting our skin and causing photo aging. And that's wrinkles, sun damage, skin laxity, hyperpigmentation, and even redness. Isn't that fun? We, now we gotta worry about not only the sun, but the computer light too. <laughs> and I'll show you a product that kind of tackles the blue light. So I wanna tackle sunscreen by category and I've sort of grouped into different categories some of my favorites. The first thing I wanna show you is this product which is by Cover FX and this is SPF 30 Booster Drops. Maybe you wanna make it a little bit easier on yourself. You can just add a few of these drops in with your regular skincare cream. This is a chemical one. So you could just mix the drops in with your regular moisturizer or you can use the drops after your moisturizer and rub them in the palm of your hand and then obviously spread them out evenly on your face into your neck and chest as well. So that, I just thought that was really cool and neat. I wanted to show you a really nice face sunscreen. I do feel like sometimes, you know, the regular everyday sunscreens aren't great for your face. Like they're fine for your arms and your legs, but then do you really wanna put 
a lot of them on your face. Like I feel like your face is more important. I also want lighter things on my face. So I really like this one. It's by La Roche Posay and it's called the Anthelios 50 Mineral Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid. This one is water resistant for up to 40 minutes and it's specifically developed for the face. But what I really love about it is that it's really lightweight. It's just so nice on your skin. So this is a great sort of everyday for the face SPF 50 mineral sunscreen by La Roche-Posay. One note about water resistant sunscreens, they all say water resistant instead of waterproof because they can't actually claim that they're waterproof. It really depends on the amount that you sweat. It depends on your water exposure, if you're swimming and such. You really only have a certain amount of time until you need to reapply that sunscreen. So this one says 40 minutes and then you need to reapply. Just wanted to make that note about being water resistant. Another option that you have with sunscreen is to use like a face primer, which is just really lovely too because then it acts like a foundation primer and sort of pulls double duty that way. This is a really neat face primer product I wanted to point out to you guys. It's called Kula. It's got SPF 30 and it's a mineral primer. So remember mineral means it works right away. I love, I just love the little pump bottle. It's a very nice creamy lightweight liquid and it's also a primer for your foundation which is lovely which is wonderful you can do if you like a two-in-one this is a great product but there are a ton of two-in-ones if you want to do a skin moisturizer with spf built in and there are a lot of them here again it's the same line it's called kula mineral sun silk cream and this one is oil free it has spf 30 and it's 70% organic, which I really like. It's also vegan. And this one's mineral, so it's got the zinc oxide in it. It works right away. It does have 30, so that's the base, you know, the 97% effective. And again, lightweight, super creamy, lovely texture, doesn't feel greasy, doesn't feel oily, zero scent. Um, no fragrance. Fragrance, by the way, usually translates to bad things, like stuff you don't want in your beauty products. Just something to think about. So that's like a really nice, lovely moisturizer with SPF built in. Okay, moving on to foundation. Foundation is another area where you can really have a two-in-one. It's recommended that you do use a separate sunscreen product. But if you're very busy and you're worried about time and you want to have a two-in-one product, foundation is a great way to get that SPF and also have that two-in-one product. So I wanted to show you some of my favorite foundations that also have SPF in them. Here are top three for sure. This is the newest kit on the block. This one is by Tarte and it's called Found Sealer. So it's supposed to be a combination of foundation and concealer, multitasking foundation, broad spectrum, which means UVA, UVB protection, SPF 20. And this one is a mineral sunscreen. So it doesn't say right here, but I look, turn around and look at the ingredients and I see zinc oxide. So I know that's a mineral sunscreen. This is a beautiful foundation. It goes on really um, creamy and smooth. It covers, it provides great coverage. I've tested it a bunch. And when you like kind of, I can just even rub it into my hand. Uh, it's a liquid foundation. You can even see on my hand, it's really giving full coverage. But what makes it so awesome is that it really does just blend and soak right into the skin and then become almost like second skin. So if you're like me and you don't like that heavy foundation look, you want something very natural that looks skin-like, this Tarte foundation is lovely. Two other favorites, the Clinique Even Better Glow. I've talked about this being an awesome dupe for Chanel and it has SPF 15, so it's not as high, but it's it's something, right? At 15, we're still at, what was it? 93% blockage of UVB rays. Beautiful foundation, SPF 15, love that. Even better glow, but favorite, 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 this guy. It Cosmetics Color Correcting Illuminating Full Coverage Cream, CC Cream. It has SPF 50, it is broad spectrum, and it is mineral based. This is what I have on now. I put it on this morning. I've been here for five hours, six hours, and I have not reapplied makeup. It makes the skin look glowy. It provides the full coverage. 
It has SPF 50 in it. It's amazing. And you guys have heard about it ad nauseum, I'm sure. But there's a reason why we keep hearing about it because it's awesome. <laughs> one other quick one. If you're more of a tinted moisturizer person, but you still want the SPF built in, here's a Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. It has SPF 30 in it. What if you're out and about, you used your SPF in the morning, it was in your foundation, but then the time has gone by. So you're doing the math at the time and you really need to apply about three, four hours in, but you don't wanna to have to like ruin your makeup. That's when you pull out something like this. And this is the Derma E Essentials Sun Protection Mineral Powder with SPF 30. And so this one is really made to go over your makeup. It comes with this brush and you can just, it's like powder, that's it. Put it on like this and then you're done. That's it. Just stick this in your handbag. So this is one of those specialty sunscreens that I was talking about that you need to have in addition to your regular sunscreen. So you need to have this for reapplying your sunscreen over your makeup and just look at how small this is. Just throw it in your bag and be done with it. Another ancillary sunscreen that you need to have in your bag is something for your lips. We always forget the lips, but the skin on our lips is even more sensitive and prone to sunburn than the skin on our faces. Really affordable. Here's a quick one. It's just Ulta Beauty Lip Balm with Sun Protection Factor of 30 and a flavor Punchy Pomegranate. Punchy Pomegranate. You know, it just looks like chapstick. But I, you know, I even like layer it over lipstick. Doesn't matter. Here's another one that's a more of a healing balm. This one is called Intense Therapy Lip Balm. It has SPF 25 in it as well as shea butter and vitamin E. So if you want more of a therapeutic lip balm with the SPF built in, this one is by the brand Jack Black. So I'll put links to all of these sunscreens below. You need to have the face sunscreen. You need to have the sunscreen to apply over the makeup and you need to have a sunscreen for your lips. Now, let's talk a little bit about the body. There's just a couple of other sunscreens I wanted to mention. For me, for the body, I don't use a lot of creams because I don't have the patience for it. It's a lot of rubbing, especially with the kids. Like, I'll have a spray sunscreen. The spray is not only a time saver, but also it's great for when you're reapplying. So you've been in the water for a little while, it's only water resistant for 40 minutes, you need to reapply when you get out. Just something so nice about being able to spray that sunscreen on versus having to rub it in, especially after you've been in the water, maybe your skin is all salty, you know? So I really love to have some spray sunscreens. So here's a couple I wanted to share with you guys. This one is that same line, Kula. It's a sport sunscreen, so it's water resistant. This one is re water resistant up to 80 minutes, which is great. And it also has SPF 50. This is kind of the Mac Daddy for your body. 70% organic too. And this, this one is a chemical sunscreen, so you would wanna make sure that you put this on a little bit in advance of either going outside and running or going out on the beach or doing anything outside hiking. In my case, we do a lot of hiking here in the summer. So just put it on like 20 minutes before so it's ready to go when you head out into the sun. But it's really lovely, light, lightweight, sheer, doesn't feel greasy, easy to reapply, just terrific. And then here's another one that's actually by Ulta Beauty. And this one has SPF 30 in it. It's a mist, again, water resistant for up to 80 minutes. And this is, this is the chemical sunscreen as well. It has aloe vera, green tea, and vitamin E to soothe the skin. And this one is not so much of a spray, but more of a mist. And let me show you. I don't know if you can see. I'm not sure if you were able to see the mist, but it's beautiful. It's lovely. It's just... It feels like you're spritzing like Evian water on your face, you know, those little Evian bottles. Those are a couple of just beautiful, lovely, lightweight, non-greasy, UVB, UVA, broad spectrum sunscreens that are spray form for you guys to check out that I wanted to share with you. If you're super busy and you don't wanna deal with the extra step, you can incorporate sunscreen into either your primer or your foundation. You also should have some ancillary sunscreens. I talked about 
the, the brush, the powder brush for reapplying over your makeup and also the sunscreen for your lips. I would also consider some sunscreen for your body. I really prefer sprays and so I shared two of those that I love with you guys. I will put links to all of the sunscreens below in the description box by category. I will put time codes for each category in the description box. So if you wanna refer back to it, you know, you're like three weeks later, you forgot to write it down and you come back, you can just go into this description box, click on the time code and go right to that section in the video. Do you guys have a holy grail sunscreen that you want to share with all of us please write that in the comments below we would love to hear what you love what works best for you what you love the smell of or the texture of or what's super creamy or what's easy to apply what you use on your kids share 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 because it's impossible for me to review everything and i would probably go broke if i did so <laughs> i rely on you guys to really help me with sharing your favorites your holy grail products thank you guys for hanging in there with me with the uh, the sunscreen education i really found it was quite interesting and i know the title's dramatic about the most powerful anti-aging tool that you can have in your toolbox but it's 100 percent true if you want to prevent wrinkles and sun damage and sunspots and skin laxity, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to wear sunscreen every single day. You know, when the damage is done, the damage is done. There are things that we can do to try and offset it, but the best way to go about it, not only prevent aging, but also prevent skin cancer, is to wear sunscreen and also the protective clothing. So do let me know if you guys have any questions. If you liked this video and you wanna see more like it, please hit that subscribe button. I will put a playlist below to some more beauty videos. If you're interested in watching maybe some makeup tutorials or hair tutorials. Huge thank you again to Ulta Beauty for sponsoring this video. I love that they are invested and committed to sharing products and resources to help you stay sun safe. It's really an integral part of our lives. It's something we all need to be focused on, no matter whether we have light skin or dark skin. Everybody is susceptible to skin cancer. Everybody is susceptible to sunburns and everybody's susceptible to the skin damage associated with sunburns and with sun exposure. So really having the right products and the right tools in your toolbox to prevent that from happening is the key, is one of the keys to preventing aging, to keeping your skin looking youthful and healthy and glowing. So make sure that you take that time to invest in the right products for you and also to take the time to apply that sunscreen every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.